me, Kelsey. All right, so today I'm actually doing a video on cleaning your makeup brushes because there's like a lot of stuff going on around, as y'all know. So today I'm gonna show you how a cheaper way to clean your brushes because I know some of the like makeup companies sell this special stuff to clean your brushes and y'all really don't need to pay all that money for that. So I'm gonna show you how to do it the cheap way and it sanitizes your brushes and you're good. Okay. Okay, let's get to it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be moving the camera around a lot. I don't know if you can see anything. So I have all my brushes here. As you can see, they're dirty. So what I'm going to be doing is cleaning them. Who wants clean brushes? Me. Um, I usually clean it in the bathroom or sometimes in the kitchen. So the things you're going to need you're going to need this thing. It is like a brush cleaner. They do have like different things you're supposed to put like your brush on, I guess. Also, wash your face, rinse face. Don't ask me what these things stand for because I really don't know. All right, and then you just need a towel. I have a towel that is only meant for my makeup and my brushes and my wigs. <laughs> I have a towel for everything. Uh, so this is my towel. Uh, so you need this so when you lay your brushes out and they dry. All right. And then you also need, I hope the back of my hair is cool, is this Dial Antibacterial Soap. That is all you need. So that's pretty much all you need. So I'm going to show you how I wash my brushes real fast um, in the sink. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. All right guys, so hopefully I can still hear me. So all I'm taking is this dial soap and I'm going to wet it and wet my brush. This is actually my foundation brush. I use this the most. So we wanna get some cold water first. Just wet it a little. And then you just do this. Go back and forth. And after you're done with that, just rinse the bar off a little bit and then go back, rubbing it. All you need is some light rubs, that's all you need. And then we get our beautiful cleaner. And so all I'm doing, make sure you have to see, so I'm just taking it and rubbing it around. And that's all I do. As you can see, all that makeup that's coming off but you're not done. It takes a while. So I'm gonna do the, finish this one up. And then we'll head on to the next brush. But before I head on to the next brush, as you can see, it's starting to get clean a little. And you just rub it around. Oh, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just rubbing it around. I really like this part. So you have different parts. Uh, on here that show you. So for me, I like to rinse it. For me, this part is my favorite part for my foundation brush. All right, let's get this all cleaned up. Okay, guys, so as you can see, it is all clean. Yes, and so when it dries, it's gonna give me the same texture as what it, uh, it was giving me before. So that's all clean. All right, so let's move on to the next brush. So this is my brush I usually use for my eyes when I'm doing like um, a concealer and stuff like that, trying to, you know, break it, uh, break my eyeshadow, give my eyeshadow some definition. So I mentioned earlier, I said uh, cold, I don't know if you can hear me. I said cold water, but um, you can actually use warm water. That's good. All right, so I'm doing the exact same thing, just rubbing it and then going to my pad. And as you can see, all that dirt is coming off. Um, for brushes like this, you don't usually have to do it that long. All right, guys. So as you can see, that is all clean. Yay! 
All right, so this is my brush I use when I'm trying to like fix up my face and uh, putting the wax finishing touches on it. So I'm doing the exact same thing. And then rubbing it on my pad. I like to go to different spots to see which one actually works the best. It looks like this part over here is with hearts. And I actually got this one at Marshall's. Uh, no, Ross. It was one of those stores. You know, one of them. All right, let me finish cleaning up this one real fast. All right, guys. So what I do is I just let them sit here and dry on here like this. And that is about it. Some people, I like to go with uh, like uh, witch hazel just to uh, brush over the brushes. Um, that way it gives it that extra oomph. I don't know what the oomph is, don't ask me. Yeah, I don't really don't know. But it helps the texture of my brushes stay good. So I do put um, like witch hazel or anything that's like witch hazel. Just put it on the tips of the brushes and you're good. Um, just remember to always clean your brushes. Um, there's so much stuff going around and you know, especially if you're doing a makeup artist and you're putting your brushes on other people's faces, we definitely want you to clean your brushes. So all you need once again is Dial, oh, the name of the soap, once again is Dial Antibacterial Soap. Um, that, you can get that at Walmart, Target, a bar is what? You get five bars for like $3, I think, so it's a good buy. Um, and then the cleaner I got from the thing I was scrubbing the pads on, this thing I got from, I believe it is Ross. I got it from Ross, but you can find them anywhere. You can find them at Target. The cheaper ones are really at Marshall's, Target. I'm trying to think other places I can't think right now. But yeah, so that's all you have to do. You let them dry. Usually my brushes take, take only one day to dry, overnight to dry, and then I'm good. Um, but I used, I don't, I have this thing. I don't like to use them right when they're done drying. I like to use them like two days later. Don't ask me why. But anyway, so after you're done with your station, make sure you go back with some Dawn. Clean out the sink because you know, you don't know if you have makeup left over or anything like that. Also, I usually, before I put my towel down, I disinfect my area because I feel like you're putting stuff on your face. You wanna make sure everything that's around your face is disinfected because that's nasty. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let's see if I probably try to put the link down below for the scrubber to see if I can find another site for it for you guys. But if I don't, just inbox me, DM me. I'll probably know the name by then. Um, by the way, y'all, y'all see these eyebrows? They are hideous. But next Monday, I'll be getting them wax off. Well, not the whole eyebrow. Y'all yeah, know what I'm saying. But anyway, so let me think. What else can I say before I get off? Uh, let's see. Um, I'm having another giveaway. It's a big Easter giveaway. I'm doing the uh, makeup Easter basket. So make sure you are following my Instagram account so you can get a chance to win that. Okay. And that's about it. So y'all have a wonderful week. See you next Tuesday. Bye.